I'm Lauren, and if you've been watching my channel over the last few years, you've likely noticed my growing love for traveler's notebooks. <laughs> Today I wanted to review two TN covers from Webster's Pages, which is the first company that I ever bought a traveler's notebook from. First, one of the older, regular size color crush notebook covers, and then one of the newer suede pocket size ones. Now that I've been using both of these for a while, I wanted to talk a bit more in depth about them than I have before. In case you're considering buying a traveler's notebook yourself and you're comparing a lot of different brands because now there are a lot more companies that make them, so it can be a little trickier to narrow it down. Mine are also not new covers anymore, so you'll be able to see how they wear over time. Just because I feel like I should say this, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I bought both of these covers myself and I decided to review them on my own. Though I would love to work with Webster's Pages someday if they will have me. <laughs> so back when I bought my very first traveler's notebook, I decided to buy the Webster's Pages regular size in the color Sedona. I was incredibly excited at the time. I had been doing a ton of research on traveler's notebooks online and I could not wait to get my hands on one. Something about the whole system just really inspired me and it got me back on my journaling kick, which I've been meaning to get back into for years and never quite had the right system. And so the reason that I bought this notebook in particular is that I loved the layout of the pockets. When you open it up, it has this whole section in the front with tons of places to put things. There's a bigger pocket here and a bigger pocket here, which actually still has some stuff in it. I didn't totally empty it out. There's a pocket on the back. There is an elastic pen loop, which is my preference for pen loops. It has four elastics on the inside, which means that you can fit four notebooks in it without having to add any additional elastics to attach them, which is really helpful. I find that three or four is kind of my favorite amount to have in a notebook at one time. I don't like when they get too thick, but I don't like when they're too thin either. I think that's kind of the perfect happy medium. And the whole thing closes with a single elastic band that you wrap around the whole thing. It's a little bit loose right now because there are no notebooks in it, but I actually feel like it holds it closed pretty well. All of the Webster's Pages notebook have this little tag, which I find really helpful because I like to grab it and pull it in order to take the elastic off of there. But I'm not sure how I would take this tag off if I decided that I didn't want this to be the charm on my notebook. I actually have added a different charm on top of that that I put kind of in the center. So once I got this notebook, I filled it up with a bunch of refills from Traveler's Company as well as the blank Webster's Pages one that came with the cover. I've been writing in my daily traveler's notebook almost every day for more than a year now. I have a travel journal that I don't work on quite so often because I'm always really busy on trips, but I do want to get better about that. But I really love the system itself, and I've been pretty happy with this cover as a whole. This thing has come with me on a lot of adventures. My favorite thing about it by far are these pockets. I've been able to fit so many extra things, which is really helpful when you're traveling. Being able to store a ton of supplies like stickers and extra pieces of paper and things like that, as well as your pen, is super helpful with a traveler's notebook because when you do travel, you don't want to be bringing a ton of stuff along with you. And having it mostly contained in this package is extremely helpful, really functional. I haven't tried a ton of different traveler's notebooks, but this is definitely my favorite layout as far as pockets go. I found it to be the most functional for what I find myself wanting to carry in my notebook. Another thing about these notebooks is that they do fit the regular size traveler's company inserts, but they are wider than the traveler's company covers. That means that you can fit more notebooks inside of here without them spilling out along the edge. It means that if you have a pen in the pen loop and you close it all up, there is enough room for the pen along the edges of the notebooks, which is very helpful. One downside is that they are not quite wide enough that you can reach into the pockets without closing your refills first, so I have to kind of stop what I'm working on in order to access these pockets, but it hasn't really been that much of a hassle. The downside that I have been experiencing with this cover after having used it for more than a year is that I don't really like the way it's wearing over time. This is not real leather, which is a plus for a lot of people. There are plenty of ethical reasons to not use leather, and so if you are looking for a traveler's notebook that is not made out of leather, this is a really good option and honestly, it's one of the reasons why I chose this first over the original Traveler's Company covers. But as a result, I've been a little bit jealous of all the people on Instagram whose Traveler's notebooks have just worn down beautifully. Leather gets nicer and nicer the longer you use it. And with something like a notebook that you're carrying around with you on all of your travels, it's going to look like you've been through so many things in a good way. I've only been using this cover for about a year, but 
I have started to notice that it doesn't look quite as good as when I first bought it. And that's a little bit of a bummer for me. I assume that that is just the nature of the faux leather material, but it is still holding up. It's still durable. It's not falling apart in any way. It's hanging in there. It just doesn't look quite so nice as all of the older Traveler's covers that I've seen. I have to admit that when I first started researching Traveler's Notebook covers, the leather ones didn't really seem as appealing to me as the faux leather ones. And I, over time, I'm kind of starting to realize why people like the leather. Obviously that's a personal choice, there's nothing wrong with the faux leather, and honestly I prefer it to the suede, which I'll get to in a little bit. But for that reason, I've been kind of looking into other covers and seeing what might suit me a little bit better. A while later, Webster's Pages released their pocket size line, and that was very exciting to me. Their pocket size fits the field notes inserts, which are very popular and really cute, but they also have a little bit of extra width similar to their regular size notebooks. That way you have space for a pen and lots of notebooks if you want to try and cram them in there. They chose pocket size instead of passport size, which is what the original smaller traveler's notebook size is called. The passport inserts do still fit in there, they're just quite a bit smaller than the cover itself. Pocket size is just as wide but taller than the passport size. I was really excited when they announced that they'd be coming out with these and I bought the mustard suede pocket size pretty much right away when it became available. But I have to say, after a while of using this, I have several issues with it and I do not like it as much as I like liked my regular size cover. I picked the mustard suede color and I absolutely love this color, but what I like even more than this color is when you open it up, there is a pink floral pattern on some of the pockets on the inside, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I really like the way the yellow looks with the floral and it just, I, man, one of my favorite, favorite things about Webster's Pages is their patterns and their colors that they choose. They are right in line with my style and I always have a really hard time choosing which one to get just because I like so many of them. The layout of the pockets inside this cover are similar but smaller. They have a couple that you can fit in here. There's a clear window similar to the regular size one, but because this cover is a lot smaller, obviously they couldn't fit as many pockets so they don't have all those little card size pockets in the front half. There are also four elastics so you can attach four plus notebooks in this, which is great. However, they added a reinforced spine which the regular size does not have and I have several issues with this spine. The spine, I think, is what I have the biggest problem with with this cover. So the main problem that I have with this reinforced spine is that when you put four inserts, one on each of the four elastics that are in here, there is a lot of extra space on that spine. And so the notebook feels empty and also larger than it needs to be. And with a smaller sized notebook like this, I wanna be able to take it places and put it in my purse. And so if it's bigger than it needs to be, be, it takes up a lot more space than necessary. One of the things I like about the notebook that doesn't have the reinforced spine on it is that if I only had maybe two notebooks inside here, I could flatten it almost completely and it would be great. But if I wanted to have a ton of inserts in here, I could actually widen it and it would still look good. I definitely don't feel like I need to have more than four inserts on a little travel size notebook like this. And so it feels a little strange to me that the spine is so wide compared to the width of those four notebooks. The other problem that I have with the reinforced spine is that they didn't seal the edges of it. So at least with the suede fabric, it's fraying all over the place and it's, I've trimmed off some of the little threads and they keep showing up. I was tempted to try and seal the edges myself, but then I thought if they didn't do it, there must be a reason why not. I wondered if maybe their suede fabric was a little bit too sensitive to any kind of fray check compound that they might put on there. But another thing that I've noticed is that the suede tends to bubble up a little bit. And I don't know if that's just the nature of the fabric, it probably is, but it doesn't really look super great and that bothers me as well a little bit. And it's such a shame because this is such a beautiful notebook. It was absolutely gorgeous when I first bought it. The inside looks amazing, but just several things about the outside are not really what I wanted. And that's a little bit unfortunate. However, they were always making new notebooks and releasing new colors and fabrics and sizes all the time. And so I think that they probably will improve it in future generations. And if they do, I'm probably gonna be first in line to buy another one. Overall, the functionality of these notebooks is my favorite thing about them. I love the pockets on the inside. I love the pen loops. I love that you can close them up and you can carry a ton of things inside of them when you're traveling. I love that they have four elastics so I don't have to do anything tricky to get more things to fit in there. 
there. The color choices for these are absolutely fantastic, and it's the thing that drew me to Webster's Pages as a company in the first place. When I went to Creativation a few years ago, I noticed the Webster's Pages booth almost right away and ran right over, and I had never heard of them before, but they had like this gorgeous floral wall on the back, and so I've been a fan of them since I first heard about them. In the video description below, I will link to some places where you can find Webster's Pages products in case you are interested in buying them yourself. Anyway, I hope that this is helpful. If you are into Traveler's Notebooks too, what is your absolute favorite cover? I have a whole bunch of videos about Traveler's Notebooks, so I will link to them up in the cards above and in the video description below if you'd like to see those. And if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can stick around and see what I make next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.